Good morning. Today we're going to talk a little bit about calibrating your switch offset. Um, there's a really basic test that you can run that allows you to, to figure out exactly where that switch offset is and this will also give you an accurate representation of what the zero is on your machine. And I would do this once every every once in a while. There's no specific time simply because there's not a lot of data specifically on the um, the lifetime of these uh, these particular switches and whether or not they do go out over time. I just check and over time it doesn't seem to have changed. However, if you've impacted it at all or if you've done anything that could have potentially damaged the switch, um, I run this test at least once just to make sure that my settings are absolutely accurate. So an easy way to do this is actually by uh, getting your torch all the way down to where it's physically touching the material. And you'll see that there it's making contact with the material down here and there is no up pressure on that switch. And you can visually see if I even did a micro breath of up pressure, you could see the switch actually give just a hair. So pay close attention. Make sure you're right on that material. And then the rest is actually going to be done in Mach 3. So let's go ahead and pull it up into Mach 3. Alright, Mach 3. Here we go. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to move over to uh, Run Program and just zero it out here. It's zeroed out there. Awesome. That's all we really need to do initially. Then go to Diagnostic Alt 7. There's two parts of the screen that you really need to pay attention to. Z position here. So Z position and then of course digitize. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to incrementally go down and keep pushing my Z down and we're going to see it hit digitize. And it hit digitize at negative 0.14. So that is technically my offset, but we're going to go ahead and confirm that here. We're going to go back and stepwise go down and we see still around 0.14 that digitize the screen button comes on. Yep, at negative 0.14. Three test shows me that, yeah, since digitize is activating, seems like we're doing pretty good over here. Let's go ahead and pop this puppy on up. And we can actually go into our sheet cam processor, post processor, and adjust for that particular setup. Let's go over there right now since I have you right here. So, options, machine options, processor, post processor, I can actually go in here and it'll actually allow me to change. Um, it's not in this one. This is a uh, non-float processor here that I have. Let's change it over. So if I were to look into this post processor, the 418, uh, the 1217 processor, I have my offset distance at negative 0.25, which is actually a little bit too high. I should probably take that down to equals negative 0.15 or 0.14 in order to accurately get my Z0 and then it'll travel back up and make the rest of my cuts for me. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and continue. That being said, um, that's how to properly adjust. One of the things that I do like to give it is just a hair's breadth more height off the material, just a hair, because there are subtle imperfections in the flatness of a material and I personally just feel that it helps. This is more of a use case of me doing what I feel good about when I'm working with my CNC machine. What is accurate is setting this to that Z offset. It'll come back up to that point and you'll be good to go. So that being said, good luck, have fun and have a great day.